Hi, this is Laurel. Now, before we start the video, you know, I just thought I'd show you. This is October, and I live in Pennsylvania. This is early for us. This is like a blizzard. For those of you who were Little House on the Prairie readers, and I don't know about the show. I didn't watch the show, but if you ever read the Laura Ingalls Wilder Little House series, remember this, the winter where the blizzards for them started in October and lasted for seven solid months. Every few days they had blizzards. That's what I'm feeling like right now. I really hope we don't have seven months of this, but at any rate, I just thought I'd start the video with this. Hi, this is Laurel. Welcome back to 31 Days of Couponing Success. And today's topic is about donating from your stockpile. And what you're looking at is a variety of items that I will be donating fairly soon. And I'll, I'll try and talk you through these so that if you want to also do some donating that it gives you an idea of what types of things you can donate and who might be in need of those things. So what you're looking at now is the contents of a bag that goes to actually one particular ministry and here's a pile of them ready to go. I just left one out so I could talk to you about it. Now in my area there is a woman who has a very specific ministry. She has a real heart for young girls on the streets. And so even though she encounters a lot of people on the streets and works with them all, I think her heart is really for the young ladies. And she said the one thing she's noticing, at least in our area, is a very disturbing trend, that when girls are graduating from high school, they're being kicked out of the house. Their parents are saying they don't want them in the house anymore, they don't have jobs, or they're, you know, they can support themselves. And so she's encountering a lot of girls in that age range who have no street smarts, who are on the streets. I'm sure you can imagine what that must be like for these girls. And they don't have any money. So, you know, they can't get even basic things. So something like detergent or feminine products are a real blessing to them. Imagine that it's that time of month for you and you do not have feminine products. We can't imagine, but some girls are in that position. And, you know, the toothbrush here, toothpaste, uh, deodorant, floss, soap, uh, f a small food item. If you coupon, you know that you can get just about everything on this table for free. And if I paid for it, I paid very little for it. Like maybe the soap might have been a quarter. This might have, the tissue might have been 20 cents, something like that. So we are not talking about a lot of money here to be a real blessing to someone in need. And obviously her goal is to work with these girls to get them off the streets. But the immediate need is, you know, can I, can I have some feminine products? Can I have a toothbrush? So... She says these are a real blessing to her to be able to pass these out to some of the young ladies that she encounters. And also, just a variation of this is useful for most any ministry. I'm a part of a charity sewing group, and we make these bags. As you see, we get fabric donated. We make bags, and we fill them with whatever small items we can find because virtually every organization or ministry we work with is always in need of these what we call personal care bags. And if I can find some of the online links uh, that we, to our organization and to other organizations, I'll let you know. I'll put them in the description box below. But, you know, there are tons of these ministries. And, let's see, the, during the time when Rite Aid was practically giving away all these free knee highs, um, well, if my daughters don't snap these up, <laughs> these will go to Dress for Success. And I talked to you about that in other videos. It's a national organization. There are probably local chapters where you live that helps women who are looking to re-enter or enter the, the workforce. Maybe there's been some you know, past trauma in their lives and they you know, want to kind of get into a new phase of life, new career. A dress for Success uses whatever you can give them that is professional. Things like professional attire that maybe is in good condition but you just can't fit it anymore or um, you know knee highs go really well with with pants and this is actually where I want to donate all of my cover girl if I can figure out where I put that but you know you've got enough cover girl you know what it looks like <laughs> I don't have to show you in this video and uh, a lot of these non-food items that you see here free razors uh, free dawn and these items, oh yeah, and the uh, toothpaste here, these items will go to a non-food bank in my area. There's a gentleman who had a real vision and, and heart to start a ministry for people 
who are in need of what food banks offer but can't afford the non-food items because from what I understand food stamps don't cover non-food items and food banks don't always have that stuff or maybe they do I don't know but he has a non-food bank and so when we can you know we'll donate things like toothpaste or, or you know razors dish soap that kind of stuff so that'll go to a non-food bank and then the ministry I mentioned earlier the woman who has the heart for the young women I'm going to donate some larger food items for her. There's canned soup, peanut butter, and jelly. And those are great for her because, now, maybe you knew this, but when local ministries and organizations go to the food bank to get food to give to people that they're servicing or that they're serving, they have to pay the food bank for those things. And so if it's a ministry strapped on cash, as most ministries are, particularly these days, then they will really, really be blessed by items like canned soup, peanut butter, jelly, particularly because food banks charge them by the pound. So it's cheaper for them to buy boxes of cereal and maybe have people, you know, if, when they can, donate the heavier items like soup, peanut butter, and jelly. So, you know, if you're wondering where in your area you can donate items just start checking. Check a food bank. Check uh, your local um, men, you know, um, like a homeless ministry. There's one in, in our city. You know, they, they can probably even, you know, put you in touch with some folks, um, you know, wherever you might be. Uh, Salvation Army is always a good place. A Salvation Army is all about helping people, and I trust them with my money and my resources much more than American Red or the uh, what is that? Yeah, American Red Cross Society. Who every so often, you know, there's some financial scandal with them. There has never, in the 100 plus years that Salvation Army's been in existence that I know of, there's never been any kind of scandal as affiliated with that. So um, they are all about serving the community. We do a lot for them. Our charity sewing group. So I think this is long enough, but hopefully. This has given you some ideas as to what you can do to perhaps be of assistance to and be a blessing to others who might really benefit from just, you know, a couple of extra things that you've got here and there. Someone will definitely thank you for that. Thanks for watching.